And in Britain, we expect a certain standard too. Andrew and his mates decided to head to Newquay in Cornwall for a stag do. But to his horror, the hotel left a lot to be desired. Possibly the worst bed I've ever seen. So it's turned upside down because it's probably softer on this side than it is on the other side, I think. What bed in there was either was worn out, had holes in it, certainly stained. Don't know quite with what. Look at it. <laughs> Look at that. After paying around £400 between them per night, Andrew angrily decided to confront the staff. Anyway, the uh, documentary continues. It's what we do, actually. That bed must be worth about three pounds. Oh, it's just the work, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's just that's... the work. I'm no boss, no manager, nothing. We've got any better rooms? Because no, that's that's bloody awful, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to see the guys. I tell yeah. the guys. You get the boss, mate. Yeah, I ring. I tell him now. Yeah. Yeah, get him down here, mate. Him now, yeah. No problem, sir. When the manager failed to appear, Andrew had had enough. I think at that point I started seeing a little bit of a red mist. Anyway, I don't want this uh, documentary to finish without people realising the luxury. He decided to expose the hotel's terrible standards by posting his footage online. Currently, it's got 42,000 views. It soon attracted the attention of potential hotel customers. Someone's put, love this review. We'll be posting it on the hotel's page. Thank you. People have seen it, looked at it and thought, actually, I don't think I'll book that place. Today, Andrew's back in Newquay, and he's desperate to find out if the hotel has upped its standards. It looks like they've flattened the place. <laughs> well, it had to come down. <laughs> it was a car. Who would have thought, eh? One YouTube clip would do that. <laughs>